Hello everybody, I hope you're well and um, you've had some success with falling asleep in the feeling of the wish fulfilled. And um, this is the halfway point clip referring back to the 14 day challenge one that I did last weekend. So what we were hoping to do was to fall asleep in the feeling of the wish fulfilled that Neville Goddard spoke about which was really, um, or is, you imagine the scene that implies that your dream or desire is fulfilled and you rest in that feeling and fall asleep in the feeling. And if you can take it into your subconscious, well, Neville Goddard said it's done then, that's it, you've done it. and. Just thinking about that, um, I imagine it gives you a deeper feeling of faith in um, the teachings and in being able to assume very strongly that it's a fact, your dream is a fact. Um, so yeah, anything that makes my faith in this stronger, I'm very happy to do. And of course, I'd love to always fall asleep in the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Um, but I'm not having great success at the moment, I have to admit. I've had a few little breakthroughs, but um, I'm not there yet. But never fear, because it is a 14 day challenge. And as I said in the other clip, I'm pretty sure that Neville Goddard um, he did, or he attained his aim of voluntary discharge from the army in eight nights. He was imagining for eight nights that he was back in New York City in his apartment while he was sleeping um, in a, a huge room with all the other soldiers. And um, it worked. So... 14 days is good because you you hopefully have some sense of where your weaknesses are and um, your failures, if you have any, and then you can think at the midway point what would help to correct these um, like weaknesses and then go for it really intensely this following week and do it because it doesn't take that long um, and maybe if you just manage to do it one time that's enough maybe why not um, and just feel the feel the feeling for the rest of the nights you know if if you you just do that every night and if you fall asleep um really deeply in that feeling that's brilliant but you've already imagined the feeling, so it's there. So don't worry about it too much. I mean, yeah, it's 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 maybe not the um, the highest level, but you are feeling feeling it. So why shouldn't it work? Um, so if you feel oh I lost consciousness and I wasn't in the story or whatever, it doesn't mean that it hasn't worked. So don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, I think to do that is going to develop your faith. And that means your assumption will be much stronger. If you feel you've managed it, um, and that's going to take you to another, another level, I believe. So um, I really want to go there. So I'm going to keep going with it and um, hope that these next seven or eight nights, I'll do eight because that's what Neville got I did. Hopefully I have more success. One can but try. And really that's all we have to keep doing because if we really believe in his teachings, we have to keep following them and keep listening to him. There's nothing else really. 
It's just all about the power that's within us and that we're here to use that power and to manifest. And um, once we have great success manifesting our own dreams, we can teach it to others um, properly. And, um, and then that's gonna bring joy to a lot of people. So it doesn't end. And um, it's important that we prove it to ourselves first, obviously. So I started to write down some little notes at the beginning of the week on the Sunday night, um, but fell off a bit during the week because I was at work and there was an inspection. So it was the first week back <clears throat> and um, it was all systems go. Lots of preparation in case these inspectors spoke to us and then coming home at night, really tired and doing more work, going to bed and then just falling asleep immediately, which is usually um, a good thing, but um, I really did want to imagine more. And, um, but the Sunday night when I fell asleep, Let's see, I'm just going to read what I wrote because I kept a little diary some of the time anyway. Okay, night one, Sunday the 18th of April. I imagined being in a studio with cameras around me hearing action and cut. Then I imagined being in a hotel room in San Francisco. So this is my, um, I haven't read this yet. This is my imaginary scene um, of getting my TV series um, uh, filmed in San Francisco. I could look out of a large window and see the Golden Gate Bridge in the distance. It's a very nice hotel room I was staying in, very pleased with that. I was thinking that I was successful and a millionaire and saying thank you in my head to try and get the feeling. I found my mind kept going to unimportant matters about nothing, about other people and about vanity issues. <laughs> and that's what happens to me a lot. It's just like, I think it, it just feels like it's a, it's a means of relaxation to allow my mind to go wherever it wants to go. And it's not good. Anyway, I'll get to that in a bit. What else? My mind didn't want to focus on that, but preferred the distraction of trivial matters. It was hard to fall asleep and maintain the feeling of satisfaction. I slept badly, but remembered that in a dream, I was imagining things before I fell asleep, imitating what I'd just been doing. So it had got into my dream in some way. Yes, yeah, so that was something good. I was um, imagining just before I was falling asleep in the actual dream. So I was doing exactly the same thing I'd just been doing. So I thought, okay, that's in my subconscious. So that's got to be a good thing. And I wrote, I need to keep taking the mind back to the imaginary scene every time it wanders off and develop a more intense feeling. Yeah. And um, I had a, a key thought, fill the mind with dominating thoughts of optimism and good cheer and faith in others to master fear. That was from uh, the Napoleon Hill book I was, I was reading and I thought that fitted in somehow. Read major desire before bed. Yeah, so write down what you want to achieve and um, read through it just before you go to bed so it's clear in your mind. Okay, so then um, there's not much after that, I'm afraid. I've got Sunday night and then Monday I just wrote, can't remember, Tuesday and Wednesday, fell asleep in a good, oh no, Tuesday, Fell asleep in a good feeling as a good day with the children. It was a really nice day, despite the inspection looming. And I had 
a morning to myself, tuning ukuleles. And then I was with the reception children. They were all really pleased to see me and uh, gave me lots of love. And it was really just a really lovely day with sunshine. So that was brilliant. And just we just had a really good laugh. So I, I kept that feeling and um, I fell asleep in that good feeling. Wednesday, fell asleep quickly. Thursday, fell asleep quickly. And I can't remember at the bottom of both. So that was really not very good. But Friday, this is an interesting one that happened on Friday. I think it's interesting. Isn't it? uh, so I've written, I remembered part of a dream as I felt surprised in it. I walked over to a woman. I think she was a cleaner. And she said something along the lines of, you should say, I am a something film star. Um, I've written, I am a glamorous film star. I am a Hollywood film star, but it wasn't either of those adjectives, but it was just something about being a film star. Anyway, um, she definitely said, I am and film star. So same thing I've written. I was so surprised that she had suggested exactly what I was already saying, although I wasn't, that I expressed this to her. I think I would have then repeated her words, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I did, but the words were already in my dream and I was agreeing with them in a sense. So they had gone into my subconscious mind. Now, I haven't been imagining being a film star, you know, that to me is, it's not impossible. It's slightly more possible than being an astronaut or something like that, but it's still quite out there. So I'm not thinking, oh, I've got to become a film star. But anyway, I'm going to just carry on. Um, I'll tell you in a bit. Uh, the reason it was such a surprise as I think on Thursday, I was walking back to school after lunchtime and the thought came into my head, I am a film star. I am a famous film star. It surprised me and I thought, how wonderful that would be. And I think I thought of Cannes, Cannes Film Festival. Then that was it. And it came up in my dream two nights later. Um, of course, the subconscious mind could be shuffling up thoughts, but where did, did it come from originally? Is the message from God in a dream? I don't see who else it could come from. I will follow it as I feel I am supposed to. I wish I could remember the whole sentence, but it is enough to say I am a film star. So <coughs> make of that what you may. Um, when I was walking along the road um, by the River Thames, it did just come in, flash into my mind, I am a film star. And I, I really wasn't thinking of it at all. And it reminded me of when I read this, um, the book which I have here from Napoleon Hill, The Law of Success, very good book. And he, he says somewhere in that book about um, thoughts and that there are two kinds of thoughts. One is um, when you're reflecting upon something, you're thinking certain thoughts. And the other one is when thoughts just bolt into your head from somewhere else. And he gave um, examples of where they could come from. And I'm just thinking about this now on the spot. So um, obviously it was from God from the subconscious mind, um, which is like a place where you have all files of all previous memories and experiences from somebody else's subconscious mind. And there were other places anyway, but um, essentially it's from the depth of your being. And I'd never really questioned before that maybe when a thought suddenly comes into your head, it, it might not be coming from you. It could come from somebody else's subconscious mind or something. Don't know. Anyway, you can't really explain it because if you're not thinking about something and then you have a thought, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, so 
my thoughts on this, I know I'm rambling at the moment, I'm really sorry about that. Um, it's not one of my aims, honestly. I'm not so um, big headed or whatever to want to or expect to become a film star. And I say big headed, you don't have to be big headed. It just sounds a bit, it's got that slight, it's got a bit of a superficial edge, hasn't it? I'm not saying I want to be an actress. I'm saying a film star, like, a, you know, tension on me. I never imagined that. My main aims are to become a children's author and to write a comedy script that gets on TV and I get a part in it. So I would like to do some acting, but I, I never aimed for film star because... I just feel I don't have the experience of acting and I'm getting on a bit. And I shouldn't say that because it's possible to become famous like late in life, it doesn't really matter. But film star insinuates a glamorous young man or woman to me. Um, so blah, 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 that, those are just my thoughts. I'm not imagining for that one. But when it came into my head, um, it made me think about it, but then I just let it go. And then when I had a dream about it and a lady was saying to me, you should say this. And I was really surprised. And I was thinking, oh, how does she know that I'm saying it? I wasn't saying it, but I was thinking back to how it had come into my head a few days previously. Um, and I was just really, I could have woken up at that moment in my dream because I could have realised this is a dream and that would have been really good if I hadn't woken up completely, but I just realised I was in a dream and made things happen. Um, I really hope that happens soon because it hasn't happened for ages and it's brilliant when it does. And that really helps, I think, because you can imagine actually being in the state you want to be and it's all going to just happen around you whatever you think in a dream when you're conscious it just starts to happen it just appears and that's really powerful because that's all in your subconscious mind anyway um i thought about it afterwards and i thought what does this mean and what can i do with it and i I felt if I could obviously not stop uh, imagining for my two major aims, but add that third one and a little scene and just say every now and then, I'm a film star and um, don't take it seriously. It, it could really help me in the other two areas because obviously I really want the other two um, things to happen. And so maybe I'm clinging on a bit and sometimes I feel disappointed that they haven't happened yet. But with the aim about becoming a film star, I don't really expect it to happen at all. Um, and so if I was imagining for it, maybe I would have a bit of a light feeling with it because I wouldn't really, I shouldn't go into it thinking I'm not expecting it to happen. I need to um, just do all the same things and assume it's going to happen. But somewhere it's like, it just seems like a bit of a joke, you know, um, I'd be so blown away if God, I don't know just can't really, I can't imagine it, but I, I'll do it anyway, just as a little side um, aim. I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire. Now imagine if that, not a millionaire, <laughs> what are we talking about? Um, I am a film star, I'm a film star. Imagine if that did actually happen and I was doing it in a very relaxed way where I didn't really, you know, take it seriously. Then that's like the key that unlocks the door, isn't it? So I thought, I don't really expect that to happen, but do it as well, because I've been told to do it in a dream. So I don't know what that means. I'm just gonna follow the instruction.
but it could help with my other imaginings if you see what I mean so I don't I hope you don't think that I'm really up myself going oh film star announcing it on YouTube when I should be keeping it to myself but I thought maybe other people have had some strange dreams that they'd like to share where people are telling them to say things I don't know so I don't care I'm just putting it out there um did I write anything else here um okay what i thought um what were my conclusions of this week of supposedly imagining when i lie down my mind relaxes and wanders everywhere any thought that comes into my mind i think about and then when another floats into my head i go straight to that one without a second thought for the one i was just considering I allow my thoughts to control me and believe this to be a kind of freedom and relaxation and can easily spend over an hour doing this and it feels like 10 minutes. I need to get into a habit of moving from thinking about useless thoughts and putting the mind back on thoughts of the desired goal. Train the mind. <clears throat> there is, oh, yeah, I wrote this. This is actually not from my notes, but I'm going to say this anyway. This is from the Napoleon Hill book. There is a third silent party to all our bargains. The nature and soul of things takes on itself the guarantee of fulfillment of every contract so that honest service cannot come to loss. Maybe that doesn't make sense in the middle of what I'm saying, but it was, he was talking about doing everything in a spirit of love and then it's never wasted. And that there's this third silent party to everything we do, which, which comes from the spirit in which we do the thing. And, um, yeah, I, I just thought I, I, in all my actions, when I'm, um, at work or um, trying to fulfill my aim. I need to do it in a spirit of love and think about this, this third silent party helping me to manifest and believe it to be real. Um, it's like the energy going out from whatever you're doing, I suppose. So I wrote that down to remember it. Anyway, I put down new week number one. This is how I'm going to try and improve my uh, imagining before bed sit up in bed and keep bringing the mind back to the imaginary act giving it sensory vividness because sometimes when I, when I lie asleep I think that's when I'm more scattered my thoughts are going all over the place so if I sit up I'll be thinking oh I want to lie down so I'll get this done and um, at least go through it a few times and and get that good feeling going on and then lie down number two once I feel I have imagined the scene vividly, rest in the feeling that it is done and say, it is done, it's a fact. Number three, rest in the feeling and thank God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Feeling of satisfaction coming up and then hopefully fall asleep in that feeling. So that's what I'm gonna try and do this week. I haven't given up, nor should you. Um, how did you get on? I hope you don't mind that I went on for such a long time, especially about the film star bit. Um, but I'm just being honest with um, what happened and all that. And uh, my throat's not good today. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to hearing if anybody's had any success or if anybody's got any tips on um, what they think they should be doing or what's worked for them. So look forward to hearing you all. Um, good luck with this week and have a great week. Bye.